Supreme Court of Appeal will today deliver judgment in the case over the reinstatement of charges against President Jacob Zuma. President Zuma and the National Prosecuting Authority had appealed a high court ruling ordering the reinstatement of 783 charges dropped in 2009. In a stunning concession, both the NPA and President Zuma agreed that the then National Director of Public Prosecution was irrational in withdrawing the charges. The DA now wants President Zuma to be brought to trial. Zuma's counsel argues that the prosecution must be followed by due processes. Here's what the SCA needs to decide on. The DA wants the SCA to dismiss President Zuma and the NPA's plea to appeal the ruling that the charges be reinstated. They want the court to rule that President Zuma must stand trial for the 783 charges without delay. The NPA argues that the National Director of Public Prosecutions must decide on the prosecution and the matter must be referred back to them. President Zuma says he must be allowed to make representations to the NDPP as there is a fresh decision to charge him. The um, accused, as he then was, had the right to make representations and he had the right for those representations to be probably considered. Well, you accept that the decision to prosecute will remain extent, but insofar as the actual trial is concerned, you would want formal notice of when it is to proceed and you would want the indictment to be reserved anew and if that is so, all the processes that might follow upon them will then be open to both sides. Yes. Is that... Is that I, I, I accept that proposition. As far as the rationality of the decision is concerned, that appears effectively also to have been conceded, certainly on behalf of Mr. Zuma, and it certainly seems to have been conceded in as much as it is accepted that the question of Mr. McCarthy's interference, such as it was on the question of the timing issue, the timing of the service of the indictment, was not a sufficient basis, not a rational basis, for withdrawing the charges against Mr. Zuma. Last year, the North Gauteng High Court had overturned NPA's decision to drop 783 corruption charges against President Zuma. The court ordered the charges to be reinstated. The case concerns then-NPA head Mukodedi Mpia's decision not to prosecute Zuma after transcripts of telephone conversations between then-Scorpion's boss Leonard McCarthy and former NPA boss Bulelani Nuga surfaced. According to Mpia, they showed political interference in the decision to charge Zuma. But the High Court judgment declared the decision irrational on the following grounds. The decision to stop the prosecution was to be made by a court of law. A prosecution is not wrongful merely because it is brought for an improper purpose. Mpie, the then DPP, by not referring the complaint of abuse of process to court, rendered his decision irrational. Mpie did not reveal that he had heard new information on the tape. Mpie held the view that prosecution must continue even after he was briefed on the content of the tapes. Mpie's sudden, inexplicable turnaround on this matter is clearly irrational.